um, why do you decide to like alienate the Erhus and the, <laughs> the Oh my god. god. So oh. actually we've been doing it. We have been doing we've been doing it for, for a long a while. time. Instrument as a Chinese trumpet. But it's uh, like no, it's, it's, it's so so to I need more I need more notes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what happened was Hi everyone, uh, Hi welcome everyone. to our 27th um, yes. what, live session. Yes, 27th live session and the first one outside of our shop as you can see. Yes. Yeah, we're at a very different lo- plain looking place but actually there's a lot of things going on behind these mm. curtains. We yes, won't show it yes. tonight, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. So uh, just a little bit about Eastern Music before we go on to the main event for tonight. So we are a Chinese <laughs> instrumental shop and we sell Chinese instruments. We yes. teach Chinese instrument, we do performances with the Chinese instrument, we do rental and we do repair for the Chinese instruments as well. Yes, so um, <laughs> every Friday mm-hmm. we'll be doing a Facebook Live, but uh, today, today is not Friday. It's not Friday, <laughs> yes. And, uh, and not every rec- already. <laughs> 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 yeah, so it's not, I mean, it used to be every Friday we mm-hmm. do a live, but mm-hmm. uh, right now we decided to be more um, quality and instead of quantity. Yeah, so. <laughs> Yes, so we um, are doing um, live uh, with um, different groups. Uh, yes, today. so what's the group for today? Yes, uh, today mm-hmm. let's uh, wait for a <laughs> while <laughs> before we review yes, the group yes, for yes. today. Yes. Okay, so actually uh, for our Facebook Live, uh, what we usually do is we'll discuss about the latest happenings uh, in the Chinese uh, orchestra scene. Mm-hmm. And uh, after that, we will um, introduce some of our instruments. Mm -hmm. And after that, we'll talk about some um, topics of that session. And at the end, we'll have a performance. That's Uh, right. Today's uh, format will be a little bit different. Yeah, it's all topsy-turvy, like, It's not. We're not going to do any of it. Actually, (laughs) we're going to do some of it. So uh, basically, we're going to talk to a very special guest. So if you uh, notice our social media posts yesterday and also just now, we'll be talking to a... Critically Ooh. acclaimed, I would say, and a award winning um, <laughs> ensemble here from Singapore, a locally created sing- uh, ensemble, a uh, Chinese wind percussion ensemble named Reverberance. Yeah, even the name, like, <laughs> is, is Reverberance <laughs> a proper word? Uh, yes, it is. Because when I write Reverberance, then the. It like auto correct you, is it? <laughs> yeah, there's this with curvy lines. Yeah, so Reverberance <laughs> is a very, I would say it's a very. Uh, Special name because you, cause you mm. know Singapore ensembles they all very have very special names lah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Insert name here. Okay. Mm. So before we invite our guests over, mm. why don't we just watch a yes, yes. short video on what reverberance is? So in this video you'll be watching is uh the title is called Pakoda, uh and it's written by a local composer Wang Chengwei. So this performance is during their 2019 Blast Chinese New Year concert. So uh do enjoy and get to know how reverberance sound. Back. So, uh, thank you for joining us for tonight. Uh, we are Eastern Music and we're doing a live session with Reverberance. So, if you watch the video just now, you could see uh, a lot of wind 
instrument, Chinese wind instruments. Mm-hmm. I mean, of course, everyone knows the Dizi. We've done a few episodes on it. But tonight, we're going to mainly focus on the not so widely known Chinese instrument, Chinese wind instrument, yeah, the we Sona. Have, we have not... Uh, we have not featured Sona ever. Yeah, in because you know life. we can't do it in our own shop because it's really loud mm-hmm. and also sheng and uh, damn percussion. So, without further ado, let's invite the musicians <laughs> of <laughs> Reverberance, the sheng musician, Sona musician, and percussion musician Vincent Wei Hong and Benjamin. Hi. Yes. Yo. Hello, hello, hello. And how? So, uh, welcome to our show. And I believe this is your first time doing a live. No. Uh, first time First time uh, Are you nervous? <laughs> yes <laughs> you, For someone who do a lot of line performances Actually I, I, when Our first few times We were also quite nervous <laughs> la. I am very nervous now <laughs> okay. I mean you don't see any audience But I mean yeah. it's, it's just us talking well, I guess it's just because Talking and performing Is a different skill set uh, so so yeah. you, You've actually done quite a few uh, Like I remember SEO diaries Or something like that right? Yeah we've mm-hmm. done a few diaries yeah. and So if mm-hmm. uh, Ben looked familiar to you Because Ben is also a Musician from SEO Yeah Okay so Let's just jump right into it Okay, so reverb- Reverberance Sorry, it's a mouthful Reverberance It's a wind percussion ensemble uh, I don't dare to say It's not really the first one in Singapore, right? There are But you guys have been Getting bigger and bigger So can we just Sort of Like get an introduction Of yourself Of the ensemble first Like uh, When are you guys formed And why are you guys formed And so on and so on <laughs> Who want to take the first questions? I mean, we <coughs> the the idea of forming the ensemble, mm. we explored it between myself, Wei Hong, and another f- close friend. His name is Ching Lun. The three of us mm. um, were talking about wanting to form this wind percussion ensemble because mm. of a few very specific reasons. One of which is um, we wanted to create jobs for ourselves. We want to be able to self-sustain as musicians because, mm. I mean, the dream growing up learning music in Singapore is to either join the sin- the symphony orchestra or the Chinese orchestra. Mm, mm. But when we were growing up, we only know to practice. As mm. we grow older, we realize that there's only a fixed amount of job space. Okay. Yeah. Jumping so into a very realistic topic <laughs> yeah. right off so the bat. So, so, so <laughs> ba- because of that and many other reasons related to that, we decided we want to come out. And okay. at that point of time when we were exploring this about like, actually it's we, we spoke about this like in 1516, but mm. I was still overseas studying. And then I think Ting Lung was right? overseas studying. Yeah, yeah, yes. I was in UK. China? And Ting Lung was also overseas, right? Mm. At mm. that point of time. So we kind of like just WhatsApp and all that kind of stuff. Mm. But once we were back, we decided to meet and talk about it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So then slowly the idea to want to do this, we started you know, looking for people. We, we, we found Vincent along the way and all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and quite a lot of... Uh, like-minded friends mm. who feels that this will work, that believe that this can work. Yeah, yeah. so uh, is you guys formed for how long now? So we formed mm. uh, 2016 okay, is where okay. we, we first met up. Yeah, mm. yeah so uh, then we have our first gig in 2016, but we officially registered in 2017. Yeah, so how was it like, like when you guys performed for the first time together as a like official win Percussion Chinese ensemble. Mm, so before before having reverberance, we actually uh, get together and you know during our school days in Nafa, we oh. always do this for uh, ah. for our allowance. allowance. Yes, we've been doing it. We have been doing. <laughs> we've been doing it for, for a long a while. Time. It's just that it yeah. wasn't. It, it was just like so. There's we, no we, name we, to it. Yeah, there's it? no name yeah. to it. We just ah. want to perform. No, I, th- I think the name is what, what we, we name it Tui Po Tian before What does uh, Glass Tui? Yeah, yeah, Okay, okay. So so actually we perform for the Esplanade. Mm. Yeah, as per like years, yes. Uh, yeah. Outdoor performance, the outdoor theater, theater yes. The okay, okay. They, they, we perform in this series called Hawaii the most often because ah, they feature ho- Chinese so music. So, for our non Singaporean viewers, Hawaii is a um, yearly event uh, Annual, organized yeah. by Esplanade, Esplanade yes. uh, for Chinese New Year, right? Yep. Yes. It's not affiliated to uh, the River Ang Pao, right? No, 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 totally different. Like same area, lah. Like <laughs> you can hear them. Yeah, yeah. Hear us. <laughs> yeah so, uh, so, from forming and then you guys do gigs and then finally creating this reverberance. So down s- s- over these few years, right? Have you found your mission? Have you have you found s- this one thing that really defines reverberance? Like. Uh, you know how some people, right, then when they form an ensemble, they say, oh, we just want to play music. Mm-hmm. Or they have a bigger goal in mind, like really 
uh, spread the knowledge, spread the music of wind percussion instrument? Do you think you guys have reached this level okay. of outreach? <laughs> okay, bef- before going to that, um, why did you decide to yeah. like alienate the Erhus and the, <laughs> the Oh my god. god. So oh. actually actually ah. wind, wind, wind ah. percussion wind percussion is something uh it, 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 it's a genre okay. in fact. Okay. okay. Yeah. So so Cui Da. Cui Da mm. it, it itself is something it's already. a very Mingjian, like very Yes, yes. yes, yeah. yes. I mean so Cui Da Yue has been around for Many, uh, many years. Many, many years. Yeah. Even before the orchestras, before, before uh, more than 3,000 <laughs> years. It's just... It's, just it's the same, about the same time, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's basically mu- musicians, street musicians, or people in the street, same village who, yes. who, who, who can <laughs> play instruments decided to come together mm-hmm. to play music. But it was never official. No one put the name to it until, you know, as civilization improves and grows mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. things happen and then names comes out and things like that. It's just not that we want to alienate the <laughs> strings I mean or the tempo or string <laughs> ensemble or string quartet. <laughs> yeah, or then, then, they, then they alienate. Yeah, the yeah, no, so alienate. alienate. Yeah, uh, yes. Don't like that. Like, I have a bias. <laughs> Deliver it. Okay. I also started with that. Okay. Yeah, so uh, who came up with the name Reverberance? We'll get back to the question later. The very soon out of the naked thing. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, so, so in fact, Reverberance, reverberance uh, mm-hmm. came up by Li Xian, right? Li Xian is uh, uh, another Sheng musician, yes, if yes. I know, yeah. if I remember. So yeah. she's one of our member mm-hmm, at mm-hmm. the beginning. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. so uh, because, like, what does it mean, reverberance? Because Song Hua thought it was not a word. <laughs> I, I mean, Google. reverb, I know it's reverb, uh, so reverberance probably Re- 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 <laughs> something, <laughs> means something with reverb. So, if I mean, the word reverb or Very reverberate is, is basically, I mean, in Mandarin, mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. basically mm-hmm. wave sound reverbering mm-hmm. from uh, the space and all. So, I mean, if you check the dictionary word, it I just Google. <laughs> Google. It, it yeah. says deep loud. So, wow. <laughs> so do you think you're yeah. deep and loud? Mm, I yeah. believe we are. We are, loud. are you guys know the loud part. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's quite deep. Huh? Yeah, deep. Yeah, so okay. Uh, speaking of peace, so what are the difficulties? Uh, forming like playing as a wind percussion ensemble. Like uh, you mentioned peace, so I thought like are pieces limited or do you have to find a lot? Uh, find composers to specially write just for the ensemble. So in the beginning, we we always find uh, the the existing pieces, mm-hmm. but it's not much. So a lot of traditional, yeah, a lot of traditional style, one. Yeah. Right. yeah. So so after that, we we, we managed to get a bit of funding mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. certain concert. So we start to find uh, Singaporean composers. Yes. To we support local. To, yes, yes. <laughs> support local. Yes. To to compose for us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. So so that's how we 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 have uh, m- more repertoire mm-hmm. nowadays. Yeah. Yes. So um, okay, I know. So you mentioned about like strings, right? So, has anyone compared you guys to like a brass band before, like a Western brass band? Do you and do you see it fair to compare it like that? I mean, w- I can see why that yeah because there could be no, the comparison. No but actually, I, I we've not actually heard anyone oh my God, saying the that to, say this. to <laughs> us before, <laughs> but it's comparable but mm. not in the sense of like better or worse but it's it's like if you want to put it that way then I would so say you just Chinese convert it yeah the Chinese version ah. of a brass band or a wind band cannot, so cannot you guys must have your own genre <laughs> yeah but it is a, a, a genre that is oh like mm. I said more than 3,000 years old yeah okay so let's talk a little bit about the instruments so uh, we always we say, so in the beginning we mentioned like uh, sheng, sona uh, are there any other instruments in the uh, cui da yue so we do have tizi and of course uh, our percussion section. Mm, and it's like a really rich, like uh, because so, on, mm, so you guys can take care like a lot of the like uh, the pitches, yeah, right, right. like yeah. Got the deep part, the of range. The range. We, we I mean, you have range. a big range. The instruments <laughs> do manage to cover mm. the the range. Mm, of mm, mm. Those, yeah. Yes. So the the lowest range would be what instrument? So currently we have uh, zi zhong shen and di ying shen. Zi zhong ying in English is what? Tenor. Tenor, tenor. Shun. Okay. Yeah. Is there a bass shun? Well, of course there is a bass shun, but we do not have. Ah, yet. okay. <laughs> yet. So, <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> That'll be an uh, investment. You hope you get soon. <laughs> and Di Suo, la. then of course the highest one would be all I mean, the other uh, Most of the wind instrument quite high one, what if mm-hmm. I... So, Gao Ying Suo, and ear me, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. the mid-range would be... What? The alto, Sona. 
Alto Shun. So now, yeah. So we will get to know more of these instruments in the next segment mm. when we talk more about the instruments. So before we end this, uh, get get to know about reverberance. Like, uh, is there? Yeah, back to the question because I really want to like yes, get. Yes, I would like to know. Also. Yeah, like wait, it's like uh, where do you guys see yourself now? Like, do you think you guys have a mission of really spreading, uh, the music of Twitter? And do you uh, like what do you see for yourself in the future, like for the future of the ensemble? <laughs> uh, Vincent, you also didn't want, Actually, I believe uh, mm. this this three da. Actually, we are we are typically a very Chinese Chinese ensemble thing. Mm, mm, mm. Our roots are all originated from you know the it's purely China mm, But mm. the thing is, of course, we have been exploring Western works. You know, mm. works that are quite Westernized. But I think we shouldn't forget our roots la. So we should be playing more of what the Oriental or Oriental pieces. Traditional yeah, the more traditional uh, traditional style mm, mm, mm. and. If if you are talking about uh, promoting this instrument to the to the mass audience to the to the to the public, mm. I think of course works nowadays are I think they're really very catchy. The uh, rhythm like rhythm wise, like yes, that, you yeah, know, yeah. the very groove, groovy, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. you really you know you, you you just swing to it. But ultimately, I I believe we still have to we we cannot just. Like forget the just do the right. the the you know the, the modern popular stuff like yeah, 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 yeah. And forgetting about our what we have, what we have wh- where we have come from mm. yeah so I think we still we I always been I always believe in like we should we should not just promote the instrument itself of mm. course promote the instrument itself but you have to introduce to the students the the the, true the so-called the, the true nature of the, the true instrument color itself. of the instrument yes and you just can't you just can't express it. Through like very modern things, correct. Like there yes. are things that's really specifically written for that instrument, yes. just because you want to express that instrument. Yeah, yeah. yeah same that's a very noble. I mean, same, same for other instruments. Yeah, as I well. think uh, I think uh. it's a common struggle, not just for like Twitter. I mean, like even Chinese orchestras, sometimes, uh, in the midst of trying to really like promote the music, right? Sometimes there might be an identity crisis also. Like like we want to do something that the mass can like itself can swallow, but at the same time we don't want to forget. The true, like essence of Chinese roots, music. Uh, yeah, that's a very good point. That's I mean, we point. we want to strike a balance between mm. the traditional and and the uh, modern. Basically, we as we grow since we formed back in uh, one seven until now, we've played. Until now, we've managed to actually cover quite an array of mm. uh, pieces mm. and yes. genres and style of the music that we can actually play or put together. Mm. So we want to have more people follow our music to understand what reverberance came from Mm -hmm. and then where we can actually go Mm -hmm. with the possibilities of just because we are in Singapore we are exposed to different culture and ethnicity and their culture as well so Mm -hmm. we want to be able to play their music but using our own instrument so that's one way we explore the identity as Singaporeans it's a very versatile yeah genre itself la. but we so between that and also then we want to do some popular stuff so that younger people can be more receptive to the mm. things that we do and when we have that we also want them to understand that we came from somewhere somewhere more traditional mm-hmm. yeah and it's important because that shapes who we are as musicians Okay. Yeah. yeah. So one way to really spread this sort of thing, right, is performance and concerts. Mm. So mm. is there any upcoming shows or concerts that we can? So action? after after a year of uh, lockdown. Oh, especially like <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. the wind instruments hit the <laughs> extra hardest. emphasis yes, yes, yes. on the yeah. has a lot of exposure. <laughs> yes. So so um uh, second May second May this year uh, we have a. Uh, composition showcase concert where we showcase uh, some of our pieces that we wrote over the past three years. Either yeah. commissioned or either we commissioned or we have uh, friends who are very enthusiastic in wanting to write new music mm. for this particular music ensemble. Okay, so it's uh, second of May. Uh, the uh, venue and Singapore time? Chinese Cultural Center. SC five pm the one at Shenzhen yes. Way. Yep. Five pm. What day is it? It's, it's a Friday. Sunday. Oh, it's a Sunday. Mm, okay, so yes. uh, fellow viewers, so if you guys like uh, what you guys hear in the beginning of the, uh, y- y- you guys will be playing. Yes, that's yeah, yeah we'll be in that piece, right? Piece. Yeah, so you can uh, watch Reverberance live concert on the second of May, twenty twenty one, a Sunday, five p.m. at Singapore 
uh, Chinese Cultural Center SCCC right at Shenton Way nearest MRT Tanjong Baga <laughs> 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 all right so that's uh, all we have about reverberance don't worry we'll get to know more about them later but right now let's just uh, get a uh, take a deep dive into knowing the individual instruments yeah, because uh, here in Eastern Music, we also pride in uh, introducing Chinese instruments to the, the mass audience as well. So uh, let's just jump right into the first instrument, which will be the sheng. Oh, no, sorry. The <laughs> spoon. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Don't worry, uh, we home place sheng also. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, so uh, just give us a few moments while we check and make sure everything is running, and then we'll go to the second segment. Just give us one minute, and we'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. So the first instrument we're going to talk about is the sona, which will be uh, which we home the sona musician of reverberance. We'll be talking more about later on. I mean now, <laughs> it's not later. On. Sorry, now. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we home. Take it away. Okay. So so basically, this is uh, a lot of people say uh, a lot of people mention this instrument as a Chinese trumpet, but uh, like no, it's, it's, it's so so to be. Slightly closer is oboe, you know, Chinese oboe, because it's double reed instrument. Double so trumpet is, is a brass instrument. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah so, so we are double reed instrument here. Okay. So this is a reed. Then, of course, this is the body, and this is the bell. Ah. Yeah. I mean, it's shaped like a trumpet, but it's not necessarily closely related. A lot related. of these are shaped like this. Uh, <laughs> much <laughs> louder than the oboe, right? Much Sorry? louder. Oh, way louder. Way, way louder, louder than, than the oboe. oboe. Yeah. Okay. So can you what 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 else could you tell uh, yeah. tell us about? Maybe you can introduce uh um the whole family of the uh, the sona. Mm. Yeah. So is today, such a small one? today I have here is uh this is this is actually uh people call it hai, we call it hai di. So like don't misunderstand. C it's not it's di not di zi. Yeah. Di yeah. as in the di zi di. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hai as in the si the hai. Si di. <laughs> ha hai di. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So this is one of the, our smallest key. The the highest one. The highest the, This is in G major pitch So yeah. it's like Equivalent to like Xiao C or Xiao D Of the D Yes So it's a D Yes uh, No no it's I a sona. <laughs> <laughs> Okay So the next one Is the most common one Which okay. if you start learning Sona You'll be using this key Which is D major Okay So it's a yes. Gao Ying Suo Gao Ying Suona, Yes Okay Okay. So the This is the Chuan Tong Zhong Ying Suona. Chuan Tong Yes this is in G major So, so this is so one octave lower Than the one you see The okay. first one uh, Alto Auto yes. Mm. yes. Auto okay. sona. So this and is traditional. So why is you call it traditional? Is it because it's got a modern one? Or yes, this is the modern one. Okay. Here. So this is the one with the all the added key where you uh, you can play chromatic. Oh okay, okay. Yeah. So, so, so like a Western wind instrument like that. Ah. Mm. Yes. It's, 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 it's the same, sona. same same concept. Okay, okay, okay. Yep. So the traditional sonas, can you play like chromatic also? Uh you need a higher level of skill. Uh, so you you uh, really higher than me. High oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it, it is difficult. It's so difficult. later you it's not as easy uh, as like Di Zi playing. Uh. Di Zi is difficult too. I, I'm okay pretty la, sure. Like yes, yes. Okay, they always say like. Is it the same? Hole. Is it the same? It is the same. Uh, uh, same. Yes. Can Correct. you like try the uh, flight of the bumblebee with that? <laughs> later. With, with this one or this one? <laughs> <laughs> no la, Must be articulate. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. How this segment works is uh, we'll be talking about the instrument here and then we'll be shifting the camera over to the corner where uh, they'll demonstrate how the instrument sound like. So uh, there's this piece called Bai Niao Cao Feng. Yes. Yeah, the Bai Niao is what? 100 birds yeah, 100 f facing yeah. the phoenix. <laughs> home, home uh, uh, paying homage yeah, paying to homage. the phoenix. Yes, so yes. In, in that piece, right, uh, the sona mimics a lot of the bird but sound right yes. so it's i've, I've realized chinese instruments like to mimic a lot of yeah, animals like, like, like uh, uh, mimic yeah. horse horse uh, 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 mimic frogs, frogs, also, right? frogs? Yeah. frogs, frogs. And mm -hmm. i can do the frog <laughs> yeah, i mean one <laughs> racing car yeah oh, yeah oh. Tele oh. telephone <laughs> yeah telephone it sounds like a very interesting episode <laughs> one yes, time yes, uh. yes. yeah so back to the sonar so sonar is one of those very versatile very expressive wind instrument the yeah. sonar. So, uh, will you be doing that piece? I can do a short demo. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. We're yes. yeah. So, <laughs> this this is actually the true power of the sonar. I yeah. think a lot of uh, people, like laymen, they would think that sonar is actually used during um, certain festivals. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, Weddings certain festivals. and funerals. Yes, uh, I mean, it's yeah. a very polarizing instrument. It's like celebrating something and mourning for something also. Mm, yeah, yeah yes. so I think sonar is really one of those, like, really deeply imprinted. In a Chinese cultural sense, 
of mm. kind of instrument. All right, so we're gonna switch the camera over to that corner, and we'll have Wei Hong head over to the demonstration corner for tonight, and you guys will get to hear how this suona sounds like. Woo. So the first one sh you're gonna play is the Gaoing Gao Suona. Yep. Okay, so uh, the one that he's gonna play is the D key soprano suona. The Stong Yin Sonat, which I mentioned, we can play chromatics. So, uh, so, so, so with all this added key, we can play almost all the key that is. Okay, so, so the yeah. chromatic playable uh, mm. Jia Jian Sonat, Stong Yin Sonat. Yes, so we're back to this corner. Hello, everyone. So another round of applause for Wei Hong. So what he did just now for to the Zhong Yin Suona, right, is he kept modulating up, right? Yeah, yep, yeah yep. he kept changing the keys, uh, basically. So it's like one half step. One, one key. Uh, one, one. Yeah, so just keep going up, going up, going up. Yeah, so that's the fascinating sound of the Suona. So uh, Suona, um, does people always complain it being too loud? Or is <laughs> uh, when when I was studying in secondary school, yes. So yes. any anyone sitting in front of me always turn back. Can you play softer? <laughs> then I will reply, I can't. Does the conductor <laughs> ask you to play louder? Uh, no, I don't think so, la. Yeah. So sona, right? Uh, also in a orchestra hey, context. Yeah. Is that oh. mute for sona? No. Do you if you remove the bell? Eh? Uh, so so okay. So so mute will only work for brass instrument. Because it doesn't work for woodwind instrument. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. So, but, 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 uh, but, but our but, famous, but, but. famous sona musician, Mr. Guo Yazi, he actually uh, invent a mill where the, the it's, it's like a box. A so box. the sona is inside the box and there's holes for your finger to go in. Oh, that's very and play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can practice, you can buy that and practice at home. If I think they do sell it in yourself? Taobao, yes. Can you make shift? Can you, can you make it? Can you make shift? Make shift? Like, uh, like uh, improvise and take a box, yourself. you know? Yeah. Like oh, so, so for people inside. who want to practice at home, I think yeah. uh, what we do in doing open my. Uh, uh, sorry? Open closet. Yes, open the closet. Make sure inside is full of clothes. Okay. Uh, then you just just so just don't let the notes the come out of the closet. Uh, okay. <laughs> try, try to contain. Try to contain the, the sound. But it will contain like 20, 30 percent. Oh. Yeah. So okay. if I have good neighbors like my wife, uh, oh, yeah, my wife do have good neighbors, so she oh. can practice at home. So your wife is your neighbor, my. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so hey, my wife, bro. yeah, practice at home uh, for a number of years. Okay. And the uh, neighbor didn't complain at the all. The neighbor would say, "Wow, it sounds very nice." Like. Maybe. But 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 I my I they complain a bit. Uh, okay. mm. So I stopped practicing. It's at okay. Home. Uh, both yeah. also champion also doesn't uh, really matter. <laughs> 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 you should have appeared in the SCNC. Oh, oh wait wait no, they did not compete this year. NC, uh. Uh, okay sorry. All right so that's the Sona and you guys just heard the Gaoing Sona and Zhong Ying Sona. Mm. So moving on, let's talk about the Sheng, which is Vincent's time to shine. Hi. Hello. Yes hello. yes yes. So uh, what um Fa Bao has you brought us tonight? 
<laughs> okay, maybe just a brief introduction on yes. the Shen family. Yes. Actually, the Shen has been around for for the past say, three thousand over years. Okay, but of course, to date, I I got I don't have an exact date. <laughs> but is it the I oldest uh, Chinese music instrument? The oldest, I believe so. One yeah. of the oldest. It's actually yeah. one of the oldest instruments. In the a lot of uh, in wow. like like accordion, harmonica, all come from the Shen. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. same family. Or no, so yes, Shen is no. actually the forefathers yeah. of all these weeded instruments. Wow. Yeah, the harmonica, the the wind organ, you know, at the co- concert hall, all this. The I church. Mean, <laughs> the way the way the the way the principle of producing a sound, I think, the originated from the Shen. Wow. Not from the free reed thing, which we should call the reed, the copper reed. Okay. So, actually, from back then, thirty. Three thousand years ago, so but sorry, I don't have a three thousand year old shun. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a this replica. This is two thousand. This is two thousand. Biblical. Okay, okay so this is something um, I I got. It, it was used to imitate the the fang tang, ba, 好像仿唐还是仿仿。We shall Google it and then put yeah. a subtitle when we edit I, I, this episode. I, 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 I don't Dynasty really have a. The the fang, in as in the fang, fang the tang in dynasties. Yes, yes. Sheng. Sheng. Yeah, like I'm not sure if it, if, it, if it looked like this, but um, but but this is how it used to look like. Uh, oh, you know, okay, okay. With, the, with a little pipe, little pipe thing here. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> but this is actually looks quite like improvised. Really, toy. Yeah. Look at toy. I mean, it looks like, like uh, the the Cowingson, but with with yeah, that. But it's handheld. Yeah. Yeah. So this is actually quite a handheld thing. Okay. Yeah. So of course. As we move along over the years, the instruments that is actually revolve around, and we we start to need more non notes. So back then, I believe it was the, there was only seven seven notes at or perhaps like nine. Do re mi fa sol la ti. Yeah. Oh, do re mi sol la do. I don't have a research on this, but <laughs> but I believe these are it's basically the pentatonic scale, the okay. do re mi sol la. Okay. Yeah, so maybe another mm. do or a re. Okay. So so people start to realize. I need more. I need more notes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what happened was, more notes were added in. So from from a from a seven from a seven key, yes, uh, yes, upgraded into like a twelve notes, fourteen notes, uh-huh. and eventually seventeen notes. So the seventeen read uh, Chuan Tong Shen was actually quite a commonly used thing. Back. Oh, Thirty so like years one, ago, one pipe has one read la. Yes. Okay. So, so every pipe. Oh, that's yes. what so so every pipe, pipe is that one note lah. Yes. No, okay. Sorry, sorry. Division note. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't 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 keep me interrupt you. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> even back then, when uh, during my primary school days, uh, I, I started off with a Chuan Dong Shen. So yeah, I remember younger watching more people play. Yeah, Chuan when Dong I was in primary school, so I was I was playing on a Si Qi Huang the Chuan Dong Shen. Oh. Uh, in my school CEO back then. Okay. Yeah. So here so it goes. So the Gaoing Shen, the the next instrument that we're going to talk about is more. Recent year, yes. decade, not year lah. Just recent twenty years. Oh wow! So now people realize they need more. Oh okay. yeah, I mean from the f- from the from the <laughs> twenty one, it's upgraded into a thirty six. So what you see right now, the commonly used shuns. This is a soprano shun, or namely the Gaoing shun. Okay. Yeah. So this is a San Si Liu Huang. So it's thirty six read. read. Okay. Yeah. And of course, uh, what you can find right now in the in the market, there's actually a forty two market. As in not like the uh, <laughs> like the market lah. As in the market, like <laughs> <as in laughs> like <laughs> it's an instrument shop, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you say market, it's like oh, <laughs> go wet market by Shen. Yeah, of course the Shen family. I think I think the Shen sound really very nice. Okay, uh-huh. I mean that was what that fascinates me lah back okay, then. Okay. Okay. Um. So people start to realize that. No, we can't just have all the high, higher, higher, higher pitch notes. Okay. So we need something lower. Ah. Yeah. So what happened was, we we'll start to make lower. Okay. So eventually. Ah. So that's what underneath the red yes. cloth. So shuns got bigger. Bigger and better, or bigger and heavier. Bigger, bigger and, and heavier. Lower. <laughs> 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 but uh, you you actually put it on your lap and play one ah. Uh. Huh. Uh, that that's a stand. Technically, should but um, technically, <laughs> but but they you nowadays they so have a stand. So humans not only greedy but lazy also. Yeah. So, <laughs> so no innovative. In <laughs> so from a soprano, it has upgraded into a auto. Okay, I well, wouldn't say upgrade because it's going lower. But yes, okay, going <laughs> yeah, yes, I get okay. your point. Yeah, so, <laughs> but actually, this is a tenor. This is a tzu zhong. Okay, okay. Yeah, so that's, that's even lower. Yeah, but it'll be it's, too. It's just a fourth lower. Too so chunky to yeah. put in. Uh, Okay. So the zhong from a zhong wing now we have a zhi zhong in uh in the family. Okay. Of okay. course, there's. Okay, so this is actually not enough. Sound? Okay. How low? Uh huh. Something like this. 
Can you, can, can you? So this is the lowest. This is the lowest possible note. <laughs> okay, lowest possible. Okay, okay. Can play chromatic also, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, I shall not trouble you too much because this is a really hefty looking instrument, and it's not it's not even the biggest sheng out there. Right? No, no. Not so there is a bass sheng, <laughs> low, even lower and so bigger. So coming than that. from the tenor, there's actually a bass. Okay. And I think five years ago or ten years ago, they yes. came out with a contra bass. Ha. Huh. Yeah. There's a peti, which is <laughs> giant. Yeah, it looks a- like is it as big as a pipe organ? No, it, right? it really looks like a machine gun. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the way it is, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. machine gun is smaller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Vince, Vincent, there's there's this uh, Zhong Ying Pai Sun, right? Could you tell us yes. a little bit about yeah, Pai Sun? So it's not in the shot today. Okay. Yeah. Okay, shot, the Zhong Ying Pai Sun is actually the same as the Zhong Ying Pao Sun. Pao um, as in Pao as in, yeah. So this okay. is actually a Pao Sun by by Pao. Yes, they, they hug it, it like, They put yeah. it on the lap So the Pai Shen Why, why is named a Pai Shen Of course like, Just like the way The instrument is being uh, laid Arranged out. Yes. Yeah. So it's, it's really like a You know Like a piano key oh, okay. But of course There are all, all sorts of Funny 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 things We have the piano key Wow yeah, 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 so, that, that, so it works yeah. like a piano la, So pianists can yes, play it Yes exactly it's just But you still way have way to la. Exhale yeah, and, and You have to blow, yeah, have to blow through it instrument. Yeah But of course Different 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 shells Will come from the different uh, What do you call that The 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 notes from the piano ah yeah so okay. different octaves. also yeah so it's translatable la, like yes okay okay cool 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 okay so uh before we demonstrate the sheng right is there anything special about the sheng that differentiates from other wind instruments okay actually the one of the most significant um identity la, I think mm-hmm. is is the ability to blow and uh, inhale and exhale la. I'm just sorry, the three can see. Oh, is it? Yeah, unlike the Di Zi Suan la. Okay, I mean, they, they are lousier. <laughs> <laughs> they and they can, can only play one sound. notes. Yeah, they only They're can play a sound. They're not economically uh, yeah. designed. So, <laughs> I'm not going to retire yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so actually, the, the Shen is capable of playing playing through blow by blowing in and Okay. Um, breathing, and breathing in okay. and blow, blowing yeah. up. Yeah. But does it sound the same or there's a like a it slight sounds the same. Or it's yeah. like a need to train. If, the, if you feel that there's a there's a there's a difference between blowing in and out, so I think it's a technical problem with the <laughs> instrument. And not or the it could it it could yeah. be an instrument problem also. Yeah, most Maybe most probably re- need to like readjust tune a bit. or tune a little bit or somehow somehow yes. itch. Yeah, and I also noticed just now before the live started, right? You also played the instrument, and I realized you can play a f- multiple notes at the same time. Yes. Yeah. And because every s- every single note of the of the of the shen is uh, independent, mm-hmm. so it's like if this is a, this is a. Okay. Th- there isn't a harmonic to it. Okay. So the, the 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 number of notes which you are capable of playing all, all it all really depends on uh, on your hand. Uh. Okay. How, how many how many notes do you think you want to press? I mean, you can, you can by all means, okay just la, go I ahead. Mean, uh, play multiple notes is nice. Playing too much at the same time could be very horrible as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so a less nuisance. is some more. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to once again turn the direction over to the demonstration corner. And uh, Vincent over here will be playing the Gao Ying Sheng and... Or just the Gao Ying Sheng? Chuan Dong Sheng. Okay, so you'll be playing the Chuan Dong Sheng and you get to hear how the Sheng sounds like. Sounds absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I can show you how, how, how the how the instrument has uh, upgraded uh, into a, a more powerful instrument. Okay, so I have something like this that sounds like uh, how a piano 
uh, place on both hands, uh, whereby you know the left hand on the on the panzo and and the right hand on the sh on the melody. So it goes something like that. I'll just do a short excerpt. Thank you, Vincent. That sounds uh, really, really wonderful. Uh. I always think that um, Sung is one of the more interesting instruments uh, of the Chinese orchestra because they can play. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's probably one of the only few uh, rare wind instruments that can play multiple notes at the same time. Yeah, yeah. At the very least, it's definitely the only one in the Chinese uh, music wind, wind instrument family. So do you, do you actually play chords and uh, notes and melody at the same time? Chords and melody that yep. would depend on how the how how the notes has been notated. But if you are talking about let's say I can just hold on to one note, you know, without letting go, and and, and on the other hand maybe play a, 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 like a, a accordion like that, like a drone, like a drone, yeah, yeah, like yeah. accordion, yeah. 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 So, mm. so that's what is actually uh, is is basically just a, a small little trick. Uh -huh. It's not it's not really some very difficult technique. It might sound very wow. Well, very, you know, yeah, yeah. it sounds complicated, but actually, it's like very straightforward. It's just it's covered the, the way the instrument is made, la. like that, la. Yes. Okay, so thank you, Vincent, for demonstrating on this sheng. Yes, yeah, so Vincent. <laughs> 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 Whoa. Okay, so before we go on to the uh, final instrument we're gonna talk about today, uh, I just went through some of the comments uh, during our live. So someone I was asking uh, where we are. So we are at a uh, river burns um, studio. studio here in Goodman Art Center, and we're talking about reverberance and of course the instruments uh, that uh, we want to introduce so we just talked about the sona and we talked about the sheng so we're going to move on to the next and last section i wouldn't say instrument i would say section because this percussion section consists of a lot of different instruments so we'll hand it over to ben to talk about the instruments itself so what consists like what is in the percussion section for chinese wind and percussion ensemble Okay, so for percussion instruments, it's a huge variety of mm -hmm. instruments, but uh, it's basically broken down into three different types, okay. at least for Chinese percussion. Okay. So we have the drums, but basically they are the skinned instrument. Okay. And most of the skins used on these drums are ox or buffalo skins, the okay. new pea. Okay, okay. Yeah, and then we have the copper or bronze instruments okay. and then there are two specific types one is the gongs the Bo. others would be the cymbals yes Bo. Bo. Okay, Bo. Okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so so between the law and the bar these are the two types of tong chi available uh that are okay. most commonly used so, uh, so uh, let, let's uh just get it straight so it's gu, gu and tong chi tong chi, tong tong chi, chi li yes uh luo, luo which is and the Gongs and bo, which is the symbols. So yes, this is the big tree for the yes. uh, percussion section, now. Yeah. Okay. So what we what I have uh, today that uh, I would like to show to our audience okay. are the more commonly used percussion instruments in Chinese orchestra. So if you were to be in a Chinese orchestra concert, okay, or you go and watch our concert. Yeah, this will be I the mean, types of like the wind. Yeah, uh, like other, okay. what reverberance usually would have. Okay. Would you will see them in a bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. 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 So, uh, what makes Chinese percussion different from Western percussion? Okay. So, uh, first of all, we don't really have a lot of uh, mallet instruments or melodic instruments. Okay. We do have two more slightly more common ones mm. but even so not that common okay. one is called the yun luo which is basically a, a set of gongs pitched 
pitched congs okay. put together that we can play multiple notes on then to create uh, to create yeah okay, okay. melodic uh, notes out of mm-hmm. it the other one is called the shi mian luo uh, yeah, ten f- <laughs> ten gong. Yeah, ten the the traditional oh God, sounds very horrible. Yeah. <laughs> no, but the the <laughs> traditional shi mian luo is really <laughs> just ten pieces of gong. But now the the the, the modern uh, shi mian luo is actually thirteen pieces. Okay, so okay. on the rack you would see thirteen gongs hung up there. <laughs> yeah, but that one is not. Uh, it's still it's pitched. Yeah, but, but there's uh, not specific notes. Not really. not yeah, not is a lot it of specific it's too notes. Low no, it's it's more of. Though the way the Sumi Law sounds is is more uh catered or like to how Chinese percussion is used to be learnt. Like when we learn Chinese percussion last time, uh, as we learn Chinese music last time, oh. there were no notation. Okay. Or at the very least, how p- students learn is just ko so sing chuan ma. Okay. It's basically the students so just listen to the teacher okay. tell them what to do and how to do it and then they just repeat, remember it. So like for example the Sumian Law Notation used to be Chinese words. Okay, that's a term for it, right? Yeah, it's called Luo Jing. Thank you. That's actually yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So 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 <laughs> on the Luo Gu Jing, like for example, there are words like uh, Zhang Fu the Zhang, but if you just read the word as it is, right, it doesn't really mean much. But it's okay, to it's mimic the, the lower sounding okay, gong. So what is it called? Zhang, for example, ah, uh, uh, one of the words. So when you hit the uh, so, not, so when they when the sound comes <laughs> out right, yeah, it's it's a bit like that. Okay. And then there is things like, for example, the xiao lo, like the smaller gongs, right? When you play and then you hear the pitch band on it, it sounds a little bit like tei. So tei. So on tei. the Chinese word, right, used to notate that is actually tai zi, Taiwan the tai. Oh, but you like you. Yeah, add but, a slang but to it, yeah, like, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, so so that's how uh, percussion notes were notated last okay. time in Chinese words. Okay. And then the instruments were made, or rather. The words were used to, to sound describe. as close as it gets oh, okay. to the instrument. Yeah, I mean Chinese language is already difficult enough to learn. Now you have yeah. to learn the language to. Do we don't have to learn the language to learn Chinese percussion nowadays, right? No, you don't have to because Western bec- notations already. So, yeah. so there are already <laughs> stave score and modern ways, okay. uh, similar to music theory okay, that okay. that that we you can use to learn Chinese percussion. Okay. But when okay, so like if we go to a uh, school or we teach any students, right? Mm-hmm. We use the modern notation. Mm-hmm. But as they get more familiar with it, we will also introduce to them. You know, this is how it used to look like. Ah, like what uh, Vincent talked about <laughs> in the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe session. maybe Benjamin can demonstrate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, he can sing the low Can Kuching. you say something like? Can yeah. you say the low Kuching, the mantra? <laughs> the, <laughs> the mantra. <laughs> okay, so like, so how does it sound like? So the the good the thing about low Kuching is mm-hmm. that in one line, one uh or or one phrase, right? Mm-hmm. The, all the words put together mm-hmm. is actually not one instrument. It's ah. actually a group of instruments. Okay, like, like for example, uh, this phrase, Zhang, Lei, Tei, Qi, Tei, Yi, Tei. Okay? Zhang, Lei, Tei, Qi, Tei, Yi, Tei. So that's three instruments there. Ah. Ah. What does it, what, what instrument has it? Wait, let me guess. Uh, your Da Luo? No. Yeah. Da Luo. Okay. Okay. Yi, Tei, Xiao Luo. Xiao Luo. Xiao Ba? No. Uh, actually, the Nao Po, oh. the Nao Po, which okay. is a slightly it bigger it version of the Xiao Po. Yeah, 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 it's a small Chinese symbol, okay. but a little bit bigger than the usual small Chinese so symbol. So there are like names for all these. Yes, thing, right? yes. Yeah. So, so basically, it, uh, the words constitutes of different sounds, mm-hmm. and each word may mean different instruments, individual, two, or the entire ensemble. So basically, everyone learns the same thing, mm-hmm. and then everyone knows. Oh, I'm supposed to play here. I'm not supposed to play. So, here. Uh, is it safe to say we usually would hear this uh, in opera, Chinese opera? Yeah. So, so Luo Gu Jing uh, originated from uh, Peking Opera, essentially. Ah, so we did an episode of Peking Opera with uh, Rich Jin on the Jing Fu. Yeah, yeah, but it, the 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 actual roots goes even before. But okay, but there okay. there are, there's a lot more research. Okay. That. But but uh, as we learn, if you go to a music conservatory, if you actually learn this, mm-hmm. usually they introduce you, you to this, uh, in tandem, with learning Peking opera, etc. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, so what instruments are you going to demonstrate for us tonight? Okay, so and are you gonna sing the mantra? <laughs> uh, no, 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 I'm not gonna sing the mantra. Oh, okay, but okay, but okay. Uh, <laughs> but but basically today, uh, so so I like I said, I have some common instruments that are most co- uh, commonly found either in Chinese orchestra or in our woodwind. Uh, Percussion, okay, zom, reverberance. Okay. Yeah, so we have the hua peng gu, okay, flower or pot drum. Yeah, but uh, why is it called flower pot drum? Because it's shaped like a flower pot, ah. but uh, it's also very commonly called the da gu la, just big drum. Okay. Yeah, then the xiao tang gu, small, small, tall. 
yeah, which small tongue? Like Tang Dynasty 就是 or Sugar Tang? 不是，就是呃，大唐的唐。It's like main hall. hall. Yeah,、oh, okay. yeah. Okay. 大呃，花盆谷、小唐谷 ，and then we have the 大伯、小伯、大罗、小罗。Oh, so you're gonna play?、Uh, yeah, we're gonna demonstrate yeah, a little bit of each, like octopus, each. everything. Well, no, I I only have one pair of hands, <laughs> no, but but I can play a little bit of everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So once again, we're good, we're gonna turn the angle for one last time tonight. Over to the demonstration corner as Ben will be playing for us the percussion section, the 大鼓啊小唐鼓锣 and 拨 Yeah. So I have all my. Uh, percussion instruments here, so I'll go through them one by one, starting from the drums, then to uh the cymbals, then to the gongs. Okay, so first up is the 大鼓 the 花盆鼓 so which is this, and uh 花盆鼓 flower pot drum because like I said, the shape of the drum itself looks a little bit like the Chinese flower pot. So it's a low sounding drum. Okay, so this is the 花盆鼓 So next up is the 小唐鼓 or 小鼓 Now this is a high pitch drum, and also、uh, there is no definite pitch on this. Okay, so that's the 小唐鼓 Now next is the symbols, the Chinese symbols. First up, we have the 大伯 so the big Chinese symbol. Then of course the xiao bo, the small Chinese symbol. Now moving on to the gongs, so we have the 大罗 So we play it at the center of the gong here. So this is a low, uh, low pitch gong. It can get really loud for this one. So then finally we have the uh 小罗 the high pitch small gong. So for the 小罗 right, we use this. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's basically a small thin piece of wooden plank. And at the edge, it's tapered. Over here, yeah. So this is traditionally what we use to play. But nowadays, uh, we we also、uh, teach students to use just the drumstick to, to play on the instrument. And this instrument, the characteristic of this particular one, which I actually do quite like a lot, is that it has this pitch bending sound. So instead of just like the 大罗 way, just go kuang. This will go tei. So this is the、up. one that you mentioned the. Tay, yeah, yeah. So this is this is Tay. Yeah, yeah. So and I believe this is a very difficult instrument to play the sound properly, right? Yeah. In order to 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 get the Tay,、uh, get the right sound for this, we have to practice a great many hours to as and also because we have to use uh this very thin piece of uh lollipop <laughs> <Yeah, stick>. wooden <laughs> plank. <laughs> yeah, the, we call it the lopian, 
Okay, okay. Low pian. And oh, also nowadays, yeah, I, I the, the different, at the back. yeah, yeah, and and there there are different types of uh, wood materials used okay. to make this low mm-hmm. pian, and the taper is almost o- always customized. When when I say oh. customized, it means like you have to. Let's say if I go it. like I I got this. This is one of uh. The law pen that I got from Eason wow. <laughs> more than ten years ago. Oh my god! Yeah, and I remember Lao Ban Yang. Okay. Uh, I it, it it was never this smooth. It it was jagged. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. So so it's the like gen- right the generic angle, pieces like that comes right mass produced right, right. It's it's always of a certain shape and uh. they are all sharp edge. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. so uh, I mean I can choose not to care, but I uh-huh. I would like to have my um tip tip. To be rounded, uh, yeah. To be <laughs> sent, okay. <laughs> to be sent so that it's easier to play and it's easier for me to adjust myself because at different angles I have different contact points, oh. and that allows me to alter and, and change color and sound okay. depending on how I play it and the strength I use, and just the angle of taper itself will change the sound, the okay, color. Wow! So and it's just a yeah. piece of plank and a piece yeah. of bronze and plate. So, so there are also different so types of wood, it. different yeah. density. Okay, so okay. it helps to also change. Oh, okay, just now when really I was cool. playing the ta so I was using this bitter. So on, it's just a short stick, wooden stick. But at the top there is this felt, like cotton inside. Uh, not. It's not mm-hmm. cotton actually. It's a piece bound, of cloth. A lot it's, of it's, cloth it's a, bound a, together. A piece of a uh, rough piece of a uh, rag. Okay. But tightly wound together okay, okay. so then it uh, helps to eliminate a harsh contact sound like if you were to use a stick as compared to using the uh, we call it just the law okay <laughs> and so, sometimes for me if you watch the your chinese uh gu zhuang pian then <laughs> mid uh midnight yeah, uh, you notice there's always this person walking on the streets, <laughs> to 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 announce time. Yeah, this is how they how they produce the sound. It's basically using oh. the shaft, the neck okay. of the stick, yeah, to hit at the edge. Quite H. expressive. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, three hits to. So to to indicate Signify like what three time like three a.m. Oh. or something or something kind of like scary that. now if you hear that. Yeah, actually, right I, now, I have this one last instrument time. actually. Oh, it's you. called the pang zi. Okay. The, uh, so there's actually one more, but it's uh we we don't usually include it inside, but we should actually. It's made of wood. The entire piece of instrument is made of uh two slabs of wood. One small piece that is actually very high pitched. Sound like some Latin instrument already. Uh, sound, it sounds like a clave, oh. but it's a Chinese bang zi. We call okay. it bang zi. But of course, there are low, medium, so uh, this middle, is a high, high pitch. Yeah, this is a high pitch bang zi. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, so these are the more common stuff that you ah, encounter. In very Chinese fascinating. Percussion. So, thank you, Benjamin, for you. Uh, d- uh, demonstrating on the percussion instruments. So, we'll be turning the angle back here as we uh, enter the last segment for tonight. Percussion, it's much more colorful than uh, Western percussion, I would say. I mean, because I, I I grew up playing Chinese percussion, learning Chinese percussion, but through a slight twist of fate, I also ended up learning Western percussion as well, and I really got to know how it is on both sides. I would say they are absolutely different stuff. So the kind of color and stuff that we can hear or see in Chinese percussion, we don't find in Western. Uh, but the same can be said for the Western, <laughs> the drums and the stuff and the melon instruments, the amount of color we get from the other side. We yeah, also that's <laughs> the, the Western job. side that we we, we can't really <laughs> we, we can't really get it out in in or we don't even have it in the I Chinese mean, that's percussion. That's what it differentiates yeah. like Chinese music, la. But but yeah. the, the the interesting thing is you would know if you have been to any Chinese orchestra concert or even our River Burns concert. If you follow us on our Facebook, IG, or or YouTube, right? You Link watch us. The description. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, you notice that eh, we also use a lot of the vibraphone, the xylophone or the marimba, mm. even the timpani mm. as well. So so it percussion has provided so much color to different types of ensemble, not even just ours, that it's become essential. It is essential. Which I'm grateful for. 
<laughs> well, thank you, uh, Vincent. Thank you, Wei Hong, and thank you, Benjamin, on demonstrating the uh, sheng, sonar, and percussion instrument respectively. So, if you find the instruments uh, exciting, interesting, and you want to learn it, good news because Eastern Music will be collaborating with Reverberants um, and we'll be conducting lessons for these instruments as well the sheng, the sonar. Percussion? <laughs> yes. So if you would like to learn the instruments or just get to know, get to try the instrument, you can definitely uh, drop a comment or just send a private message to us and we'll arrange a lesson with you and you get to meet all these very interesting, very funny, very <laughs> fascinating, fabulous musicians. Of course, there are more members in the Here yeah, we <laughs> go, we got way more members. Like they are yeah. just the representatives, the Dai Go Dai Lo. <laughs> yes, so uh, before we end our uh, live, session, uh, live session tonight, uh, we're going to play a video uh, for one of your recent works, uh, recent videos. Uh, it's called Jing Long Wu. Fervor. Am yes. I pronouncing it? Yes. yes fervor. So uh, before we end our live session tonight, uh, would Benjamin like to talk a bit about the video Fervor? Like what's going on inside the video? Okay, so <laughs> so the piece uh, 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 that we are talking about here is Fervor. Uh, the Chinese title is called Jinglong Wu. It's written by one of our close friends. Uh, his name is Zhi Yao, Dane, Dane Ng. He's, uh, he's actually, he used to be a sonar player, but now he's a full-time composer. Mm. And uh, we, we've been studying together since the Nafa days, uh, many years back. Uh, so he wrote this piece for Reverberance and it has now become our Zhao Pai Qi. Signature. Yeah, our signature. <laughs> signature, like every concert must yeah. kind of thing. Uh, almost, we almost every May concert we play. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Oh, on yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so uh, it's a very loud, very powerful, but also groovy and, and moving piece, rhythmic, mm -hmm. and, and also, uh, I would say, influ quite influential also. Okay, yeah, we'll choose your word carefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Infectious, yeah. Infectious, <laughs> oh. infectious yes. You need a vaccine yes. shot for that. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it's a very powerful piece that, that incorporates uh, traditional playing but modern musical mm. elements mm -hmm. used by composers today. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's supposed to enable people, it's supposed to help us bring ourselves to a new heights, new places, new ground. Yeah, so I also, will actually I viewed the video beforehand and there's some you know very interesting yeah. thing going on so, inside so like for this particular video that yeah. uh, you guys are about to see uh -huh. we we do it zoom style so so okay. we uh that's the approach because as we know covid so mm -hmm. we have to uh observe safe distancing measure so we, we recorded this uh quite a while back mm. but uh the idea was that we want to have a lot of people to join us Reverberance also happened to um, take pride in wanting to push the recycling mm. culture. We want to uh, educate and also help push uh, forward the recycling movement. Yeah. So Go Green is what uh, Reverberance is going for as well. So we are finding ways to allow or teach and help the public members to join us in playing music. Simple mm. stuff like maybe just percussion using uh, recycle recycled materials as well. Okay. So we have a group of uh, seniors from Kolam IACC. Okay. Uh, they are part of our initiatives to uh, share percussion and music mm. with uh, senior citizens. Okay, okay. So so they, and also we have two ministers with us. One ex-minister. One ex-minister ex uh, uh, <laughs> joining us in this project. So basically in Jinglong Wu, they will join us at a specific section. Okay using recycled materials, ah. drumming along, playing okay, along, okay. and becoming a part of this big community and big family. All right, that sounds really cool. All right, so before we show the video and to end our, off our live session, we would like to thank again Vincent, uh, Wei Hong, and Benjamin for uh, appearing on our 27th live session. Thank so you. Thank you. Don't forget to give much. us a like, subscribe, check out their Facebook as well, check out our Facebook as well. We're <laughs> we really appreciate the support and here to end off, here's Fervor. Good night, everyone.